Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back to another Stock Kings YouTube video and today we will be talking about the cryptocurrency Safe Moon. Now Safe Moon has been gaining a lot of popularity since the last time we discussed this cryptocurrency which I did a video on a couple of days ago and the community around Safe Moon has been really pushing this crypto as well to a lot of different exchanges in hopes that their uh, cryptocurrency will be listed on these exchanges so more people can then trade and hold uh, this crypto but with that they've gotten in a little bit of trouble with the CEO of Safe Moon along with the CEO of Binance for pushing this on things like Twitter a little bit too much. But we'll be getting into all of the details around that a little bit later in the video. We'll also be discussing some of the key metrics around SafeMoon, like the number of holders and the volume that this is being traded at. And we'll also be getting into the charts of SafeMoon to touch on some technical analysis with this cryptocurrency. But before we get into any of that information, if you guys do enjoy this content, go ahead, drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel for more stocks, trading, and crypto content. Also, turn on post notifications so you know whenever we do come out with new videos. And also, I have my totally free Discord server linked down below, which is a community where we talk about stocks, investing, and also crypto. So if you have in any interest in any of those things, go ahead, join the community using the link down below. I also have my Weeble link down below where if you sign up, put in $100, you can get two free stocks valued up to $1,800, guys. And I get a free stock as well. So if you guys want to help support this channel, along with getting some free money for yourselves, go ahead, use that link down below. But, but with that being said, let's get right into this video. But with that being said, guys, let's get right into the chart of SafeMoon and touch on some of this technical analysis and also check on what the recent price action of this cryptocurrency has been doing. So coming over here, we can check um, mar coin market cap and see the recent price action of SafeMoon. So obviously we had this massive run up and then we kind of rejected off of the peak of this area here, coming down, bottoming up, out, and then we kind of came back up and now we are just in this consolidation zone. That has been fairly annoying for the most part. We've just kind of been slowly decreasing, but mostly just bouncing back and forth in this range here. And the range is basically in between 0. 0.0000 and 0 0.00007. So that is kind of our key range that we've been in. And this is the monthly chart. Now taking a look at the seven day chart, as you can see, this is where we get this steady little decline is as you can see, mostly between 0 0.00005 and 0 0.00006. So just kind of been in this boring consolidation zone for the past week, a little bit of a decline, but not too much. Now looking at the daily, we have come up just a little bit from where we've started the day and coming back out to the monthly chart we can see the volume has also been steadily decreasing obviously we had our biggest uh, day on that April 22nd and now we have just been steadily de declining in uh, volume since then but with this consolidation and slow decline that does not matter for most of the safe moon holders because they plan on holding this for the next five to ten years now this is not a short-term stock so these small little consolidation range don't matter that much. In the long term, we will expect catalyst events of SafeMoon to push us out of this, and these will be happening in the future. So short-term consolidation is not that big of a deal for long-term uh, SafeMoon holders. Now, also something that I wanted to take a look at is some more uh, key metrics on SafeMoon. Now, here on BSC Scan, you can take a look at the market cap along with the total supply, which has been decreasing because once you obviously sell, you know, the total supply decreases with that, but that raises the value for the rest of us. So that is why we are holding this for the long term. Also, the number of holders has been increasing as well, which is definitely what we like to see with SafeMoon. Now, this is not the most up-to-date uh, number of holders, but we'll be getting into that a little bit later in the video. We also have the number of transfers right here. Now, here on BSC Scan, I do recommend that you check these numbers daily, especially if you are a holder in Safe Moon. Now, I say this because these are obviously all key metrics for decision making with Safe Moon. Now, everything I say on this channel is not financial advice. It's all for educational and entertainment purposes only. So please do your own due diligence and trade based off of your own opinions. But to reiterate my point, checking these numbers is key key for decision making and I definitely want to make sure that you guys are checking this before making any decisions with your capital so you do not lose it.
Now, something also key to take a look at as well is if we come over here to this Reddit post, we can get the reflection report for day two. Now, something I wanted to disclose to you guys before I go into this is that I record these the night before it posts. So this information may change uh, when this actually comes out. This is just how my schedule works for these videos, but this came out the day before today. So you'll be seeing this information about two days late. However, I would like to take a look at the trends of this data because I think it will still be relevant even when this video comes out. So he discusses the total volume is 20% higher than yesterday's volume. So this volume number will not be correct when this video uh, is posted and it may be a little bit outdated. However, the trend of this being 20% higher is very key in my opinion because more and more people are actually trading and holding this cryptocurrency. Now also with this gaining more popular popularity and more people you know talking about this crypto is that they are getting on even more exchanges so if we come over here to this other reddit post they actually have quoted a tweet from safemoon and it says eight exchanges in 70 days patience will prevail so the tweet actually says from safemoon patience is key hashtag safemoon will be listed on every exchange but in time we've delivered eight exchanges within 70 days of birth we are here to break records so this just kind of reiterates my point that this is gaining massive amounts of popularity guys so eight exchanges in 70 days is as obviously a massive amount of different exchanges to now be put on and with this all of the community around SafeMoon have been pushing this, especially on Twitter. But with this, they have been getting into a little, a bit, little bit of trouble. And so the trouble that I am referring to is actually with the CEO of Binance and the CEO of SafeMoon himself. So coming over here to this other Reddit post, this says Binance has just talked about SafeMoon on their live AMA. So in summary, they didn't specifically say SafeMoon, but they pointed out that they won't list any coins if we keep scamming, spamming directly to CZ Binance or their Binance Twitter account. They don't like that. And if we keep doing it, that we will get blacklisted. In addition, they said their listing process is very rigorous and it will only select a few coins out of the the thousands that they got pending those will those with the best project and largest amount of users will get listed as they like bringing liquidity to their exchange however if the project keeps spreading the word to their investors that they'll get listed or lying to them that someday that it will get listed on binance they will immediately ban the coin they like professionalism and privacy so in conclusion, we need to stop spamming SafeMoon to them. They aren't against shilling our coin to the whole Twitter by using our hashtag, but shilling our coin directly to them is a complete no. I bet the developers have already filled a form to be listed, and as CZ Binance said, they are tracking each project to see which coin is doing best and gets listed. If we stop acting like kids, someday they will decide to list us. So basically, to summarize all of what just happened, um, the community around SafeMoon heard from the CEO of Binance that basically he said if a cryptocurrency has enough popularity and enough holders, that they will actually list it on their exchange. And Binance is one of the biggest exchanges in the world. So if SafeMoon were able to get on that exchange, that would be absolutely massive for SafeMoon and mean a lot for the share price as well. But since he said that said that the community of SafeMoon has been just spamming SafeMoon to Binance, especially on Twitter, and Binance and especially the CEO was just not having it. They did not like the spam, and they said basically if they keep getting this spammed to them, they will blacklist them um, from being on Binance. Now I don't think SafeMoon needs to be on Binance to be successful, in my opinion. But I do think it would be very helpful for them to be on one of the biggest exchanges in the world. So my just kind of point to, to this is if you are in the SafeMoon community, especially on Twitter, please stop spamming uh, SafeMoon to the CEO of Binance because it's it can only hurt us at that point. You know, just be, be respectful. And, you know, if, if this does continue to grow and, and be popular, we don't need to spam it to Binance. And they will notice this and then list it, you know, uh, organically on their exchange. So with that, the CEO of SafeMoon, John, actually had some words to say about this as well. So coming over here, uh, he actually in Discord said, please stop spamming Binance, please. 
be respectful. So he kind of had the same message for the Safe Moon community that I did as well. And I totally agree. You know, we don't need to spam Binance to be on Binance. You know, there there is enough popularity around this coin. And I think organically they will notice all of this popularity and also list uh, Safe Moon on the exchange because they want people interested on their exchange in the cryptocurrencies that they have on there. And a lot of people are interested in Safe Moon. So I think they are going to be noticing this and they will be putting this on their exchange as well. But with that being said, that is all the information that I had for you guys today on Safe Moon. However, if you did enjoy this content, go ahead, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more stock trading and crypto content. Also, turn on post notifications if you do want to know whenever we do come out with new videos. Also, like I said previously, I have my Discord along with my Weibo links down below if you'd be interested in either of those. But as always, guys, I hope you have an excellent day, get some gains in the markets, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.